Let's take a little gander around here. Let's see if the computer updates in any way. No, there's the net, just whatever. Ooh, I have less websites on my net than the other thing. Let's see what's actually here though. Let's just, today is about exploring the world and actually ingratiating myself in the game. Um, so the cops, oh, they actually wrote web pages. In recent years, the NCPD, uh, Night City Police Department, has been the subject of various rumors. Out of the concern for your trust and safety, we have decided to cut through to chaos and misinformation and dispel some of the most widely circulated claims about us. Will the officers arrest me in all areas of Night City? No. Sadly, no. That's fucking great. You see that little tone shift there with the sadly? That's that's great writing. The NCPD can only ensure the safety in districts such as the city center in North Oak. Areas such as Pacifica or Commonson do not fall under our jurisdiction. It's also worth remembering that they do not patrol corporate zones or any territories outside of the limits. Are they run by corporations? They are not. They receive money directly from the government. Corporations don't influence them, which is fascinating because now we're seeing a power dynamic between governments and corporations, which I guess is something that is really happening. And so the PD is almost like a military branch, it seems, of the fucking uh, government. Super fascinating. The officers in the max tech unit take civilians and their lives into account. Yes, an idea that they are whatever is false, and if something bad happens, we're super sorry. They're not really, like, hiding what they're doing. They're just pulling out the fucking guns and going for it is all I'm trying to say. <laughs> That's fucking great. I love it. Sorry, let me just uh, send a quick message. We're, no, we're going to go ahead and put a clip live on the Clips channel. Appreciate you all. Uh <clears throat> Another psycho cyber psycho neutralized max step. So so right there we just saw on the last part of the website um, that these guys were basically talking about how um, they're not like malicious and they don't like they take people's lives into account and shit. And then in the very next one, Max Tax celebrates another victory. Officers fatally shot a cyber psycho who attended to break in. See it? So they murder a person right there and they're completely okay with it. The battle against piracy rages on. The NCPD has busted a criminal organization involved in distributing pirated brain dances. The criminals were accused of selling pirated copies for half the official price. Hey, see what they're saying there? It's a comment on copyright law and the militant nature of suppression of media distribution and etc. Drunks in area apprehended. Four residents have been arrested for throwing rotten sign meat at a clerk. So protesters and then the suicide rate is on the decline among police officers. That's that's interesting uh so they're like really celebrating a 0.5 percent decrease like it's a big win and that's a cool commentary uh on how we treat statistics without any real thought into um this is all in the fucking website on the police department i'm finding this right like this is not something you have to click on and think about but if we really take a second to think about what's being said here um they're really kind of pointing out the vapid nature of it. So what does 0.5% really represent? It's fucking nothing. Honestly, if you have 100 people, it's a half of a human. So, like, what does that even mean as far as a metric? I mean, in bigger numbers, etc., it could be, like, 10 people. But still, it's not really successful. And they end it with that go NCP, uh, NCPD. That's fucking nuts. Um, dangerous driver arrested. Night City Police have arrested a driver who opened fire on another row user. Officers are strained and arrested the shooter and subjected him to a psychological evaluation. After that, the man was cautioned and given a fine of a 10000 So, the cops came in, fucked around with a dude, and then Sir Majesty was kind of fucked up and fined him. Yo, that is a commentary on, like, wellness checks and a lot of other things that's happening right here. That's fucking nifty. Uh, let's check this out. Safe and sound. Uh, <laughs> my friend's band, I think it's very similar to that. Uh, friend's band name. Safe and sound. Uh, show certified by the cops. The law at Night City exists for a reason. And so you have this like goofy animated cop figure to probably be like a propaganda source. Yo, that's a cool detail. They literally structure the fucking URL to be like almost SEO'd and realistic. That's a nice touch. I like that. Let's go back. There's the news. There's entertainment news. I think I'm not going to spend a lot more time here. Which There's an ad on the bottom. Um, but I do like the, the idea of this. Like, There's asbestos. Oh. 
I can I can't subscribe. Oh, this is actually cool. Um, so I can't I can't access the real news story from this this like play place like my fucking computer. Can I hit the back? What happened? So I go back to the net. Let's go back to the news. I got more interested now. Uh, so highway extension. I can't subscribe. I can do it for fourteen ninety nine a month. And when I click it, no, I can't be displayed. I'm unable to actually go through. And it fucking locks my internet. It locks down my internet trying to fucking um, play with the news like that. That's actually kind of nuts is what I'm trying to say. Uh, I, I, I'm really surprised by that like in a cool, in a cool fucking way. Um, this is cool. All right, let's go back to the net again and let's see what else we can do. I'm way more interested in this website than maybe I should be. But we can see about the opposite of mirror. So this is unrestricted internet in this world. All right, so I'm gonna click on the home, and uh, we're gonna see he was born and whenever. Wow, he was born in 2017. Oof, that's an interesting thought, right? Because that's actually our past. That's a very clever touch. Because I think it's meant to kind of ground you in realism that people being born in today's current existence are the people of this future. Uh, his father was killed in a bad things and in, in the fourth corporate war. Wow, that's an interesting idea. The fact that corporate wars take place and really add another layer of the dichotomy between government and business, I guess. Um, a few years later, his mom dies, whatever, whatever. So this is all unrestricted information. What happens in news here? Oh, anything about news is blocked on this computer. Only this time we can go back. So does it freeze the computer here forever? Why does that happen? So we hit read more here and it freezes and I hit back and it doesn't work. Oh, no, it did work. I was just failing before. That's fair enough. There's a guide. This is whatever. Let's check the useful links so we can get linked to the police. Uh, interesting. Is that available on our computer? This net Stark? It is. So you just get like a list of that. What is NCART? Um, I don't know. Maybe there's not that much more interesting. The domains under constructions, e tickets, or whatever. So nothing's like really working. It's just there. So the website's kind of incomplete. Oh, this is the the transportation website. But like NCART is currently owned by Knight Corp, the Knight City based corporation, bailed out of the public transit system after the tragedy of twenty sixty eight. So now we know that the city owns the public transit and it's constantly working to improve safety shit. And it's basically, I guess, a commentary on public transit a little bit. Because what's interesting is now the government owns it. They bailed it out. And when we click over here, there's no information. You don't learn anything. You click over here. You can go buy some shit. That part's available. And when you click over here, we can get some news. So they renovated a certain station. When we click read more, everything's under construction. Everything's just fucking headlines. It's like, honestly, it's almost like everybody figured out that nobody cares to read more. So nobody ever wrote more. So for the fact that you click more and you get caught up on that under construction, like there's nothing there because nobody ever clicked to fucking read it. This game is amazing. So we regret to inform you that will be temporarily unavailable due to scheduled improvements, but that's good news. Soon you'll be able to jack in and have a brain view of under construction. So basically they're like owning the fact and they'll be able to say later on, you know, we, we wrote it on the website. So everything's totally fucking okay. We're updating the page soon. It's kind of whatever. Everything's unavailable. They condemn racist remarks because some bad stuff happened. Uh, but if you want to click to read more, nothing. That's fucking funny. I really love the way they're satirizing our current internet. All right, let's go back and check out what other sites are there. I think it's, how the fuck do you go back? There it is. So we've done that. We've done that one. Let's see if the other news lets us view anything. Or is it just, again, going to be the same thing? They breach the home of an employee, blah, blah, blah. We click on read more. We click on subscribe now. Page not found. It doesn't exist. Nobody wants to pay for the news. So there's no way to do it. It's all a charade. The news is boiled down into fucking snippets of what it is. This is basically saying fucking this is what the news is going to become. This is what the internet is going to become if we just don't let it go. This is fucking crazy. What is Night Corp? Uh, Richard Knight's Legacy, the foundation here are three things. It is all fucking propaganda, right? But it's also cool because we learn about this guy now. Uh, basically, we grew out of Richard Knight Foundation, a man who dreamt of creating the perfect city. Keeping Richard Knight's dream alive is what underlies all our projects. So this is kind of what it is. So this is some philanthropist who created a foundation or a corporation. And so we get that little fucking... Like, this is available. 
this information is available on their internet but there's no like fucking google or anything you just have this and then there's i guess samurai web which is a fan page for something here my column chipping whatever total or this is like that weird fringe fucking website that'll be around if you know you know if you don't then you don't now fuck all this is 4chan or reddit or the greatest or i guess it's a fan page for this band and that's all it is um i don't know anything else i don't know that i really care to read much more of that but that's so interesting i'm glad i took the time to look at the internet in this game and just just for the fucking experience of that that was a great commentary piece that they they did all right i think that's enough of that uh